So, hello, hello. I hope that you're all dry and safe ngayong araw na to. Maulan na naman. And, I have, uh, disco- di naman discovered. Meron ako nabasa na matagal ko nang, matagal ko nang gusto, ano, matagal ko nang gusto i-share. And, now is, now I feel is the, the time to share it. And, nakakatuwa lang kasi, it's another thought experiment and, this is one of the things that really drives me curious about life. But before anything else, I am Coach Jordiel. I am a certified CACC professional life coach from Life Coach Philippines. I am a certified martial arts instructor and a marine engineer by profession. I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I am also a scholar for Master Coach A for public speaking. And this episode includes another play on words which is a rhetorical question and the title for tonight is as above so below of macro and microcosms so start so ano nga ba yan, ano? ano nga ba yung definition sang microcosm and the macrocosm so if if we're just going to define it simply we can use the words of Hermes Trismegistus which is the person is the microcosm while the universe is the macrocosm. Parang hindi <laughs> parang, parang hindi kaya nalinawan, no? <laughs> okay lang yan. I will explain further. So, yung ang pinagkaiba lang ng dalawa, the difference between this uh, micro and macrocosm is the scale. Macro meaning large and micro meaning small. And the cosm is like that community or or the world, kumbaga. It's like a small world of its own. So, yung scale lang niya yung nagkaiba. So, that means that the microcosm is congruent to a macrocosm kasi they have similarities and they have parallels. The main difference is just the scale. So, sige, ano natin? We can, we can, uh, the definition is relative. Kasi, for, for let's say, ano, for let's say, a cell, a single cellular organism, that is a microcosm in itself. Compared to us, humans, we are the macrocosm of that. So, tayo mas malaki. Ano yung similarities sila? Ano yung parallels? The parallels in between are the single cellular organism has its nucleus. Yung nagde-decide on how that cellular organism will function. Ang parallel sa atin nun is the brain. Then you have mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Sa atin, that is our digestive system and our cardiovascular system to deliver the energy. So, mas complicated. ba? And if yung cell membrane of the microorganism, yan yung protective layer niya and Sa microcosm na yun, yun yung protective layer. Sa atin, ang protective layer is our own skin. So, nakikita nyo, there's that, there are comparisons that that differs in scale and differs in complexity. So, the macrocosm will always have a more complex iteration or there's a more complex uh, bilang copy. It's a, it's a more complex uh, version of the microcosm what the microcosm has so nakakatuwa lang kasi dahil uh, I was searching through thought experiments and it makes you think it really makes you think that if if you see this uh, pictures of your neurons and you see pictures of galaxies they bear uh, similarity may resemblance sila pag tinignan mo and it makes you think that I am made of the same material as that. Sabi mo, hindi naman coach, kasi you're made of organic matter. Hindi. The baser materials exist in the same galaxy and exist within me. Kung titignan mo, isipin nyo. ba? And if, babalik tayo sa comparison ng single cellular organism, uh, single cell organism as a microcosm and me as a macrocosm. And if the scale and the complexity 
is exponentially different from micro to macro, mapapaisip ka eh. Diba? You will think that, have, have you ever have you ever wondered that if we are just a part of a larger organism? We we consider ourselves as a singular organism, but if you if you examine the body of a human, makikita mo, each cell is an organism in itself. And in your gut resides different kind of bacteria. So, di ba? That is, that's not entirely you. That's another form of, uh, that's another life form in you that inhabits you. And we are inhabiting a location, a place, which is, which is beyond our understanding. Ganun din yung cells natin. They do not fully understand why they're there. And in fact, baka mamaya, hindi naman nila alam kung ano purpose nila. Or if they have the same consciousness, di ba? Why, why we have this, why, why we have this kind of consciousness Tapos it, baka someday matrace back na our own cells have its own consciousness and therefore it is represented by our own collective consciousness. Yung collective consciousness ng cells mo, yung pala yung consciousness na display mo ngayon. So, it makes you think that thought experiment is one of the things that keep me up at, keeps me up at night. <laughs> Paisip ako ng bago matulog. Am I just uh, another part of a larger organism that uh, the world that I move on is just probably another organ of a larger organism and I'm just functioning as 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 nature intended like what your cells do your blood cells bring oxygen and nutrients to the body that's, the, that's their purpose the bone cells provide structure sa katawan mo and your neurons send the messages and Tayo, our purpose, kung tayo nahanap natin, dahil mas, com- mas complex beings tayo, are, are we functioning in that grander scale? Ano ba yung exact purpose natin, di ba? So, it makes you think that way that the microcosm and the macrocosm of being, ang complex yung scale niya. <laughs> Baka di rin kayo makatulog, ha? <laughs> Huwag niyo ako <sisihin. laughs> But, if you think of it, there are parallels and there are similarities that will be undeniable. Hindi man siya exact copy, pero you can see the iteration of each. It grows in complexity as the scale intensifies. O habang lumalaki siya. Which brings me to to the thought experiment again of thriving in your own macro, in your micro and macro cosm. Sarili mo kasi. If, if you say that is relative, so me as a microcosm in, in myself, yung thoughts, actions, decisions ko, it's all self-contained. And how how does that affect the macrocosm that I live in? Diba? Mapapaisip ka na lang, though, medyo may pagka ano siya, may pagka, may pagka objective ang ano, May pagka-objective ang dating. Pero, if you dig deep, it would be the same questions that you would ask if you look at at night. Tinignan mo yung mga bituin. You'll see, ano nga ba talaga ang purpose ko? And most people, most people are at odds na sa nararamdaman nila because they do not know their purpose. So, for me, my personal opinion so that I can thrive in my own micro and macrocosm. To to answer the questions that I that keeps me up at night is first I want to discover my own truths. Not just the truths that uh, somebody else has already discovered. I can use it as guide or guideposts, but I need to find there's that urge to discover my own truths. So that I can start owning my micro, uh, micro and macrocosm. After discovering my own truths, then I can discover or choose my own purpose, which is part ngayon ng ginagawa ko. And I'm still, I'm still discovering my truths and I'm still choosing the purpose. That for now, my purpose is to, is to shed light and to help other people who are struggling like me. Yung mga katulad ko na kung paano mag-isip, kung paano gumalaw. Kasi I know, 
I know people, there are people like me who need the help. And since I've received help, I believe it's also time that I also give that help. Makatulong, may, may, may makinabang din sa mga natutunan ko. And of course, if ever that I discover that I am a part of a larger organism and I am choosing my purpose, then and only then I can provide my own meaning which is makikita nyo there's an overarching uh, there's an overarching team na I always want to find meaning or there people want to find meaning in their lives no matter how senseless or random it may be there is a meaning because you can give it meaning diba? it's not because someone told you to do so it's because you chose to do so nasa sayo yan so that in my personal opinion is how I can thrive in my own micro and macrocosm kayo ba? ano ba choices niyo? so I hope that this short segment has enlightened you even though for a little bit kahit hindi kayo makakatulog masyado sa kakaisip na ito <laughs> but I hope that that you encounter the right questions and when you encounter the right questions you will work for the answer and the, the answers will satisfy you but if you're still having trouble do not hesitate do not hesitate to connect with me matutulungan namin kayo so if you are curious about life coaching or if you want to experience the magic of life coaching or you also want to be certified as a life coach do connect with us at Life Coach Philippines through Coach Rizel at 0917-586-1661 That is again, Coach Rizel at 0917-586-1661 I'm always on the road to post one meaningful content a day para sa mga aking viewers at listeners and I hope na may natutunan kayo If you have any comments, suggestions, violent reactions do put it in the comments at para mapaunlakan ko sila Okay? So, matanggap po ako ng suggestions Libre po yan. So, I hope that everybody is staying safe, cool, dry, hydrated, and healthy as always. I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace out.